Yo, alright boys and girls, we are here today taking a look at the full release of Black Geyser Couriers of Darkness, which all of you classic CRPG fans of games such as Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale should definitely enjoy, as well as those that have always wanted to dip your toes into such classic games. Black Geyser has been in development since 2015, and in that dev cycle they have churned out full maps for not one, but two entire countries to explore, filled with districts, settlements, villages, and dungeons. Coupled that with over 300,000 words of handcrafted narrative, it is a world that definitely comes to life. Now, that being said, I would like to thank V Publishing and Great Ocean Technologies for supporting the channel by sponsoring this video. If you enjoy what you see here today, I will have a link for you in the description down below where you can pick up the full release on Steam now. Yeah, alright, so the very first thing we shall be doing in a game such as this is creating our character, obviously. Every single minute detail about said character. The game does have, I believe, five different races to mess around with. We got our, you know, our basic vanilla humans here. We got breaking rock or breaking skulls. Same my to me. I, I got it, my friend. My personal favorite, the old dwarves. Because you gotta just smash them. Get your maze, get your hash, and just smash things. We got the old stinking knife here. My blade is sure. My arrow true. Uh, and we got another true. variation of the knife elves. So one isn't bad enough, you got two of them. Two of them. And we got the boy with the husk in his face as well. Now, when we come over to next, we have, I believe, 13 different classes in the game, if I'm correct, and all of them obviously have their stats and upsides. Here we could, um, you know, obviously distribute our attributes and stuff like that to open up skills, appearances, name, and voice. For the premise of this video, because I want to show you guys more of the gameplay and get some of these stories progressing to give you an idea how the game starts off with. I'm going to choose another pre-created character, so let me jump back really quickly, choose one, and we'll get right to it. Here's our boy. We could apparently change his name, which I will. I'm going to call him Grug. The, the first one was all right, but Grug just sounds like such more of a better dwarf name for him. What's the voice? Hmm. Scoundrel? Oh, here we go, bro. What? Where's the will? There's oh, a... yes. What? That's the one. <sighs> oh, why didn't I look here first? And more to the point, why must I come fetch you for every little thing? It's because I grew good. Um, sorry, um, who are you supposed to be? Har har, you are so very droll. Ugh, you'd better hope Lord Espen is in as good a humor today. You do know this is the day the Lords of Isselbright are visiting. Ugh, please, don't answer. What if I didn't? The Lords are already here and waiting to be served. And for goodness sake, don't forget to gather your things from your chest before you come to table. Okay, Mom. Got it. Pick my things up and I'll make sure my room is clean and the bed's made up before I leave the school. You have received the quest? Uh, yes, open up our objectives here, side quest journal again. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this stuff just because I wanna, you know, show you more the gameplay. Get into the story. Out of my music. way! Out of my way! Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. And obviously tons of characters too, you know talk and interact with it. But again, I want to show you guys more of the gameplay, so as much as I love to hang out here and do that. Make haste, Grug, the guests are waiting. You don't tell me to make haste. I make my own haste. So my room's up here. We could also go into, you know, that map mode, click on it, and he'll guide himself over to it, which is nice, you know, unless you just want to, you know, follow him along yourself, you can do that. So let's uh, pillage this chested mom set to go and get my stuff from. I mean, I'm not even sure. What do I need? A shield and a morning star. I am a big fan of that already, by the way. Um, to serve um, a high and mighty guest. You know, I'm going to give him like a beer and smack him in the head with a morning star or what? Yes! At last. Ugh, don't go twisting an ankle in all your hurry. You take care of the drinks. Lord Wolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Lord Joran would like ale. Lady Virulin and Lord Espen want mead. Go! You expect me to remember all this, huh? Do you understand, I grook? I don't remember these things. Lord Joran would like ale. That's the easiest one for me. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, what is that one? Pitcher of ale. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, Lord Joran. At least we'll get one of them out of the way here, right? Larenthal, Jordan, here we go. Hello? Ghost. Hello? Oh, good. Okay. He's got the Jordan voice too, doesn't well? he? You ailed, Lord Jordan. You know this is supposed to be served at room temperature. 
No, of course you don't. I regret not spitting in your drink on the way over there, so I'm gonna say. Shall we do business, gentlemen? Gentle ladies? Yes, let's. We are convened to discuss the situation with Deron Gould. What has been rumored and suspected for so long has finally come to pass. A council of nobles with mining interests in the town have declared themselves independent from the crown of Isilmerald. I don't like this dirty business, sending a list of grievances to the king. Sounds more like the actions of a bunch of uppity peasant farmers than nobility. There are ways these things are done. And there are ways that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal, but Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the North, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimerald nobility, most recently Aldnar. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. Oof. Hitting him where it hurts, huh? Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthal, for reminding me. And I'll thank you, Lady Virilin, not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. Oh, why, I will... <laughs> but you won't. Whatever the loyalties of, uh, the young Lord of House Espen, the Southern Nobles have many legitimate complaints. Heavy, some say ruinous taxation, delayed shipments thanks to the Crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints, the King's insistence that Daron Gould's military, e even the Town Watch, must be trained in the North. It's quite a list. All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isilbright's rules and dictums could be culled, especially if it means avoiding war, a much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. Wise counsel, my friend, but I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Daron Gould was deliberately provocative leaving the king no way to negotiate or save face. The time has come, lords and ladies, for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege and crush Daron Gould. Yuver, what is your opinion on recent developments? Well, You're I mean... asking the errand boy? What does... Excuse me? I think he was speaking to me, Lady uh, Larendel. Kindly do not interrupt me while sitting at my table, Lady Larenfall. Well, speak up. Yo, lay the smack down, Vlad Tapas. Uh, let's see here. A peaceful solution is always best, especially no, no. I don't, I don't believe in that stuff. Whether or not Darren Gould has legitimate grievances, besides the point they must be crushed to do otherwise. Should invite rebellion from every quarter. Yes, indeed. There is truth in what you say. I have often found fear to be a more useful asset than respect. My ladies, my lords, we are under attack. Please take shelter at once. Perhaps the cellar. You may wish to arm yourselves, my lords. When did these guys get like B-52 bombers? It sounded like they were dropping bombs from above. Come with me. Make haste. I like how the big dog here is taking care of me and he's like, screw these nobles. Alright boys, uh, good luck speaking. Thirsty work this. I, I, I'm coming, my leech. I am coming. You and you lot with me. But what is it, my lord? That the sound- The main gate has already been breached. The house of Espen is about to fall to the agents of Daron Gould. Now, never mind that. Just follow. And you, ready your weapon. With all the time you spent training under my master of arms, you must be able to defend yourself by now. Okay, well, I'm, I'm glad that I decided to serve you drinks in a uh, full battle armor. Hold the line. Let me go and get this archer here oh, again. Oh, we just bonked him with the dome piece. 
Oh, there it is. I mean, we're not really too accurate just yet, but when we hit, it's a bunker that sends people down. Oh, we got tons of bodies here. Ooh, pillaging time. Let's go. Uh, let's see here. Well, you know what? I probably won't be using a bunch of the stuff, but we could probably sell later, right? We do have second armaments, so though. Let me go ahead and switch, uh, maybe that. Along with that. You cannot stand against me! Toss the rocks! Toss the rocks! <laughs> now listen to me. Listen closely. This is important. The Lady Espen was the love of my life. My one love. There was nothing arranged about our betrothal. Okay. This is kind of a weird conversation to be having right now, Lord Espen. My lord, it sounds like the fight is coming to us. Perhaps we'd best ready ourselves. Can we talk about your dead wife some other time, sir? <laughs> yeah, that one. We haven't time for your smart remarks. You never saw her yourself. Not that you'd remember. But if you had, she... Gods damn these Derongold swine. Behind me is my dressing chamber. Go fetch my sword from there. Oh, you gotta get your sword right now. Okay, my lord, maybe a few clever words would serve better than a sword right now. I'm ready to fight. Fetch your own sword. No soldier, perhaps I will be spared if I surrender. Wow. That's not me. I'm kind of if, leaning towards that one, but you know what? Let's just get him the sword. I'm going. Making a proper warrior for us here. What are you... <gasps> what are you doing? This, this right here is my, my pretty boy sway. Found you at last, father. Didn't figure you would try and hide from your fate. That's actually the perfect face I'd imagine a guy just swag walking his way and in like that, you know? It's the perfect face for him. To be betrayed by my own son. Who wouldn't hide from such a terrible end? I've learned a few things, you see. Things your priests and man-at-arms could never teach. I have gained a new perspective seen the truth of this world. So, you were not even paid in coin to turn traitor against your own house. Only pretty words. Kill me if you wish, but I promise it will avail you nothing. Every man pays for his sins, my son, and the price of a sin such as this, well... The old patricide, huh? Enough of your piety! It sickens me. But your last decision, at least, is the correct one. Hold still, father. Oof. Don't worry, my child. Your hardships are over for today. Get up, lazy boy. It's time to go to bed. Uh, the crone, huh? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Where am I? What? Does this look like Rothgar's realm to you? You're in my hut. Yeah, but I mean, like, how? <laughs> in particular? Yeah, that. Oh, you brought me here. Oh, okay. Well, you just, just walked into the castle amongst all the garnish, picked my ass up, carried me back here. Okay. But no more questions for tonight. There's a cot over there. You should try to get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow will be a very, very long day. Now, how about you make yourself useful and weed the garden? Okay. Um, I have some questions, though. Very well, ask your questions, but you won't. I can't guarantee you the answers you're hoping for. Okay, how did I end up here, like, for real? Well, if you must know, we were, uh, you were about to die, so I whisked you away with my little hideaway in the forest. And would you believe it? Now you're not about to die. Okay. Lord Espen? Yes, yes, after a matter of speaking, I knew him. A good man, but a bad father. Get that look off of your face, his own son killed him. He can't have been much of a patriot. <laughs> I guess that's a good point. Just an old witch who likes her privacy. Before you ask, no, I don't intend on turning you into a fox. Take a look at this list. Once you've read it, let me know, please. I'm um, right clicking. Yes. Handful of bruiser root, or bruise root. One brown stem mushroom and a slab of fox meat. Okay, so 
Got a first taste here of a little bit of an open world. Pop this bad boy open. Apparently those are our destinations right on there. What about in here? Can I uh, loot? Oh, oh, I can't. Actually, I should. This is what I could probably see right now, but we could carry a lot more. So let's just grab everything right there. We'll worry about oh sorting stuff later. Who is um this man here? Yes. Greetings, fellow traveler. I am Volandir. Please forgive me if I, if I seem confused. I am just not well now. The Druidic Order sent me to heal this forest. This is an invasive species of spiders I am to cleanse, but they have unfortunately got the better of me. I've been severely beaten. They are venomous as well. I cannot continue. I considered approaching the cabin, but I was repulsed. The yellow spiders are destroying the natural balance in this area. I'm too weak to fight them now, but perhaps you could finish this work on my behalf. Well, you know what? If I go there, maybe I'll do it, but you know, I got my own quest to do, okay? Yes, yes. But if they get in my way, I might as well just kind of, um, you know, do my thing. But I also have, uh, you know, a sling here. So, maybe. Bad idea. Oh, no. They've all aggroed. <laughs> I was hoping one at a time. Switch to your Morningstar Falcon, you're right. Let's go, boys. That's what's up. Reclaiming the forest update. I think we got one of the little commas that he spoke of. You see that, buddy? That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Oh, Fox. Okay, for this, hold up. Fox, man. Oh, you missed. Don't miss. Spiders are rolling up. You ding dong, stop missing. Two hours later. <laughs> oh, we got him. That's one of them. So all we so. need now is probably that. But we have another one of these colonies here, so let's just go in. Balls to the wall, as they say. Dodged. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. We gotta work on this accuracy of ours and level up. Oh, God. Oh, goodness, God. We gotta work on it so badly. All right, it's down. You cannot stand against me! Well, they can if they keep dodging. Another um, update, so that's probably two parts of this thing that we've done. And there's the bruise route. I tried, buddy. I tried. But you know, I'm a little bit on the time schedule here. You're not going to show the people more of the game, so... Out of my way! Could we have done it, though? Absolutely. We were smashing those things. Sure, we'd probably hit one out of ten swings, but, you know, we were getting it done. Feel free to take a rest if you need. Yes, I have returned. Ah, oh, it's all there. Yes, perfect. Uh, let's see here. I'm getting hungry. Take what you need from my pack. What? What's this? Did you forget to make these herbs edible, child? Come now, you must try them to bring out the flavor. Surely you've cooked before. I think. I'm not sure what I've been doing prior. I have to wonder what that Lord Espen even had your tutors teach you at his fancy estate. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, take this candle and get to drying. So the bruise root. Aha. Uh -huh. And the old mushroom. Uh-huh. And then I guess we're gonna need, um, you know, the candle she gave us to burn it burn. Oh, yeah. That's all. Hey, anybody can do that. So now that we've dried it, we crush it. I like it. I like it. It's very simplistic, but at least you kind of get this kind of seed in action. All right. It has been done. Good, good, well and dried. Give me just a moment and... What? There, it's on the fire. Now we have a few precious moments to spare. We should talk. Why did you save me from the assault? I kept an eye on Lord Espen. He was a force of balance in Ismerald. His death means that balance has failed. And it so happens that I have a soft spot for young people of potential. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And I saw a chance to aid you. Who are you really? I'm afraid that is one question I can't answer for you. Okay. What is it that I must accomplish? Pardon me, I misspoke. Those are two questions I cannot answer. <laughs> Cute. A great and terrible curse has fallen over Isilmerald and much of the rest of Yerengal. It drives men and women to madness. It starves the prince and turns the pauper to a life of desperation. It is the essence of avarice itself. 
A curse of greed spreads through the land. Greed? What do you mean? Greed isn't a curse, it's just a vice. That's true. This is another metaphor. Yes, yes, ordinarily you would be right. But this is no normal greed, no. There is magic behind it. No mere apprentices cat trip either. It is most dangerous, and you must understand that. Good morning. I fear that our time together is nearing an end. What's that mean? It's time for me to leave the nest, spread my wings and fly. About time. About time, yes, yes. It's time for you to attend to the world. I need to be certain you were ready. Yes, that is the gist of it. Things were put in motion all over Yerengel since I plucked you from your father's house. Um, excuse me? My father? Father, yes, Lord Espin. But, but I'm not even a human. You couldn't be my father. Well, I mean, let's just say Lord Espin had a thing for the short stacks, if you know what I'm talking about, right? The deities of Yerengeld made your mother's midwives. They had a purpose in mind for you. And they had to secure your safety so that you could live up to that purpose. You were born into the treacherous world, my dear. It was a very important unit to be recognized as Espen's heir before the time was right. Yeah, otherwise Red Man would have probably, uh, dealt me. As the guards peered through the veils of the void, they saw that a dwarven child would be stout, strong, and resilient, fit to prosper in the age of turmoil. That is why you were formed so perfectly in the image of your mother. As well, the closely guarded secret of your mother's connection with Lord Espen ensured your safety until now. We haven't time to go into the story in greater detail, but you are the true heir of Lord Espen. Knowing this should be enough. Now you understand why Lord Espen paid so much attention despite your servitude. The other servants surely did not receive the same education, or the same favors, nor did anyone in his house, excepting your half-brother, Aldna. Gods have killed their father. He did, and that is the world I may send you back into, one where the sole heirs of Lord Espen committed patricide, one unaware, yet hostile to your existence. I love to sit and chat, but again, I want to show you guys some more stuff, so let's, um, get it rolling. Okay, so we're at Merchant's Road. We got a little bit of nice rain. Nice drizzle. my way! I love it. We got Groog here yelling at nobody in particular, because that's what he does. Um, there's a lot of, um, murder and torture here, by the way. Did you... Oh, wait, you're a fellow brother! Ah, uh, Groog. Say hello to... Helgengar. I'm listening. A sorry sight it is. Puh. Did you have some part in this? No. The wars of men are none of mine. Praise the stone. I am Helgenha. Call me Helg, if that's too much of a mouthful. It is for Grug. Um, do you know why they were fighting? Is that a serious question? Even a league beneath the Skag Mountains, everyone knows of the war. Since we're on the same road, why don't we walk it together? I was thinking the same thing myself, but by boat habit and pre predilection, I am always careful of my companions. Tell me, what brings you out in this desolate road alone? Tell them your story. Well, I'm not sure how much time you got, but let's start. Well, that's quite a tale. If I was a bard, I'd be taking notes right now. Huh. It stands to reason that with your father dead, you are the heir to his estate. Yes, I might say that. Oh yeah, okay, we got our first bro. I'm listening. And he's got Vigilance. Now, before we do run off, let's just, uh, ooh. Let's just see if they got a couple of things we could probably pick clean before we run off here. Okay, we got some candles here for the drying. That's what we're doing. And then you are the last one. Okay. It's supposed to be a merchant road, so I was hoping we could find somebody to sell these things with, but apparently everybody that would be here is uh, uh -oh. dead. Gavin. Oh, God. Uh, weren't you being, weren't they looking for you over in, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, or am I wrong? Gav! 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 Oh, you got stuff for sale? Perfect. Yo, dude, can you buy my things? Uh, what do you have to offer? Or show me what you have. Yeah, okay, let me sell off everything we got here. Yo, we got paid. We're up to a thousand gold pieces after selling off everything that I had. However, we are not going there. We are loading the area to the desolate plane. You have been ambushed during your journey. Oh. Oh, okay. So me and the boy are about to have our first encounter together as Dwarven Brothers. Oh, Wolfpack! Oh, crush him! Get him. Okay, I I'm gonna get the dude behind me. 
Well, I was. I was gonna have you focus on the wolf's bed. fine. He's already down. Brother, we are doing good work here. And you know what? That better be a better Warhammer than one that I had. Um, it's a spike club. It's actually uh, terrible in every instance compared to what I had. <laughs> so I'll... Is it even worth selling? How much do you sell for base price of two? Get out of here. Okay. I guess we probably will not be attacked here. Out of my way! There's a... Oh, crush him! Yeah, I don't... Get out of here quickly. Okay, we're inside of Izzel Bright and uh, instantly we're being accosted. What is this? Smolf! Brilliant sly of hand, Horomiel. I reckon Lord Markham still doesn't know. He's lighted by the weight of one fancy bracelet. Oh, thieves, huh? And that, my friends, is why we love the Southern Shore. Drunken nobles all day long. Only a few more taps like that one and we can get some proper treatment for Crag. Uh, so, someone's coming, I think. What a proprietous moment for you to walk into our lives, winsome stranger. My friends and I are collecting a small fee from everyone entering the city. A pittance, really. Fifty gold pieces. Hmm. Oh, um, is that what you're doing? You're here to collect on behalf of the city. You mentioned the Southern Shore. What's so great about it? That seems fair. Just let me through. Did I hear you saying something about your friend is ill? Perhaps this potion of cure-all would help? Apparently I do have one of those. Um, your friend seems to be perfectly healthy to me, other than falling down drunk. If you wait a while, I'm sure he'll sober up nicely. How about you let me buy? That's bargain and persuasion. We also have seasoned warrior. Piss off, twigs like you are easily broken. It's obviously the one we're going for. I could give him the, the cure-all. Maybe befriend him or something, but the fact that you tried shaking me down just leaves a very bad taste in my mouth. I, I don't like this. I got a bad feeling about this, uh, situation. Yes, I don't like the glint in this one's eyes. Too much like steel. Ta-ta, hard man! <laughs> Look at that dude just drunk out of his fight! He just drunk out of his fight! <laughs> that or you know. You know, you've been in that situation a couple of times and you probably have... Couldn't find the restroom, and you're just like, God, I need to get there now. And you're just somehow wiggling your thighs together, trying to just make it there at some point. That's what that dude looked like right there. All right, where are we at? Oh my God, I've been recording that long. Okay, unfortunately, um, I'm gonna have to wrap it up here, everybody. I am over time with this one here. My way. But I hope you have enjoyed. This has been a uh, Black Guys. All the information is mentioned down below. This is now the full release. And so far, pretty good. I wish I could have shown you a bit more, as I've mentioned, but. It's a game that definitely has a little story to it because, well, it's a big-ass world to explore. But uh, hopefully I showed you enough to just kind of give you a little taste. Maybe it's something you want to check out for yourselves. If you do want to pick it up for yourselves, as I mentioned, down below the description. For release now, you don't have to deal with, you know, early access and waiting for updates. Full and ready to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.